Hi everyone, welcome to BRC with Gaurav. In this video, we are going to solve passage number 22 from the book RC 99 by Aristotle. Bird. As usual, I recommend that you pause the video here, read the entire passage on your own, then use the timestamp that I put in the description box to go to the questions, jot down the answers, then come back to this point to go through the explanation and to check whether the answers are right or not. Okay, so without any delay, let's get started. Now, coming to the genre, coming to the content of the passage, बहुत अच्छा है, थोड़ा technical है, कई कई पे it becomes a little bit heavy to handle, and in passages like this, it becomes pretty straightforward that if you are an economics graduate or anybody related to the field of economics, maybe you had it as a subject in your graduation, तो आपको ये passage easy लगेगा, because the terms that are used here, the way the narration has happened, pretty much relatable. But if you are somebody who is completely alien from all this, maybe you are a hardcore engineering only person, or maybe, maybe if you are somebody coming in from the arts background, so thoda, this might become a bit tough to handle. Second thing to keep in mind, the focus of course is largely, largely on US only. Okay? So, kaafi zada American context hai iska, uh, Indian context mein, even the content of the passage as you can see, it seems to have been written in early 21st century only. The latest developments in global economy, mein, the way things are, that does not find a mention over here. Okay? So my suspicion is that maybe somebody wrote this passage in 2023, uh, sorry, sorry, not 23, uh, 2003, 2004, 5, maybe something like that. But anyway, that is that is not a concern. Coming to the discussion now, coming to the passage, author starts off by saying, ki dekho, late 1990s, so what time period are we discussing? We are talking about a time period of, let's say, 1997, 98, 99, something like that. Okay. What happened back then? US ushered in a new economy. Okay. Kafi badia must kaam chala. It was a largely speculation, cash in mentality. Basically, everything is going on smoothly. Everybody is becoming rich, something like that. Until, until the bottom fell out and it came crashing back. But very quickly, what happened is all of this turned to dust. Late 90s. Economy is booming in US, but very quickly the bottom fell out and it came crashing back to us. Very harsh usage, very, very uh, hard hitting usage by the author over here. He is literally saying ki, ye jo bhi moj masti ho rahi thi, pe economy ki, it turned to dust very quickly. So what happened? What happened exactly? So author says ki jo kuch bhi hua, iska stage had earlier been set already. Meaning that it was not something impromptu, it was not something jo ho gaya achanak se. No. All of this thing that happened, 97 to 99, Vagra mein boom and then sudden crash, all of this was definitely ordained to happen because of events that had taken place earlier. And he now starts to take the reader through the journey of what exactly happened in the years preceding this boom and the subsequent downfall. Okay? So, he starts off by becoming a bit technical right at the start. What is he saying? Please pay a bit of attention. He says that, let me highlight the sentence for you, the very first sentence uh, from the second paragraph. Productivity, productivity, productivity. This is actually the entire focus of the entire RC passage. Okay. So, ek bar clearly hum samaj lenge ki what exactly is meant by productivity in very generic, easy to understand terms. Okay. Growth of productivity. Okay. I'll write it as short, productivity ko short, prod likunga. please don't misread it as production, okay. Productivity, okay, what is it exactly? Rate of growth, rate of growth in product, okay, rate of product growth. Minus rate of labor. Now, if I try to go ahead and give a technical explanation for all this, this will become a mini flawed economics lecture in itself. So, let me give you a very generic easy to understand example. Okay. Consider there is one man, okay, and he owns a bullock cart. Ek bell gaadi uske baas do bell hai, and he takes passengers on his bullock cart and moves them from one place to another. Okay. So, what do you think? How far will he go in 5 hours? Okay. Averaging a speed of let's say at max 10 kilometers per hour, at max of so 5 hours, 40-50 kilometers dur chhoda hai ka, thik hai? But now, take that same man, thoda da usko skilling kar do, cheese sikha do usko, and then give him a train to drive, okay? What do you think he will cover in 5 hours? Massive, right? Massive in terms of what? It's just one, one person employed, but you change the tools in his hand and you train him accordingly. So what's happening is that, 
बहुत ज्यादा डिस्टेंस कवर्ड इन लेस टाइम एंड सेकेंडली द नंबर ऑफ पीपल ट्रांसपोर्टेड ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी वास्ट ओके इन अ ट्रेन यू कैन ट्रांसपोर्ट लिटरली थाउजेंड पीपल मे बी इन वन गो बट इन अ बोलक कार्ट यू कैंट इवन टेक टेन पीपल श्योर सो दिस इज वॉट वी कॉल एज अ ग्रोथ ऑफ प्रोडक्टिविटी दैट द अमाउंट ऑफ पीपल इन्वॉल्व इन डूइंग सम जॉब दैट रिमेन्स द सेम ऑलमोस्ट द सेम बट द अमाउंट ऑफ आउटपुट दैट यू गेट द अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क दैट गेट्स डन और द अमाउंट ऑफ सर्विस दैट इज प्रोवाइडेड दैट जम्प्स मैसेव एंड वेन दैट हैपन्स वी कॉल इट अ केस ऑफ ग्रोथ ऑफ प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड वॉट्स द फॉर्मूला प्रोडक्ट ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ग्रोथ माइनस रेट ऑफ लेबर ग्रोथ आप इसको कॉन्स्टेंट रखो मीनिंग दैट लेबर का जो रिक्वायरमेंट है नंबर ऑफ पीपल रिक्वायर टू डू अ जॉब इफ यू डोंट चेंज दैट यू हैव यू फाइव पीपल एट द स्टार्ट अभी भी पांच लोग ही है बट यू चेंज दिस यू इंक्रीज द आउटपुट फ्रॉम दो फाइव पीपल इट सेल्फ बढ़ गई उनकी प्रोडक्टिविटी ठीक है इफ यू गिव देम हैंड स्टिचिंग द जॉब मे बी दे विल स्टिच वन ड्रेस अ डे बट इफ यू गिव देम अविंग मशीन दे विल स्टिच मे बी फिफ्टी ड्रेसेस अ डे बढ़ गई प्रोडक्टिविटी राइट दैट्स द फोकस ऑफ डिस्कशन तो वट इज द ऑथर से दैट दे गो प्रोडक्टिविटी डिपेंड ऑन मैसेव होल नंबर ऑफ होल होस्ट ऑफ फैक्टर्स रेंजिंग फ्रॉम Uh, amount of capital invested, methods used, method used, train, bell gadi, hand se sina, kapde, hand stitching se lekar, uh, sewing machines use karna, blah blah blah. Okay, educational, demographic composition, blah 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 blah. So what is the meaning of this second sentence? It is that this this equation is not so straightforward. There are many 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 factors which are affecting this holy thing that we know as productivity. Okay, okay. थोड़ा सा अब इसके ऊपर मैं एक ही स्पेसिफिक चीज पे हम फोकस करेंगे वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन एनवायरमेंट और बिजनेस क्लाइमेट और एनीथिंग कैपिटल इन्वेस्टेड पैसा कितना लगाया काम करने में ठीक है कैपिटल इन्वेस्टेड बैल गाड़ी में कम है राइट यू नीड ओनली दो बैल एंड वन गाड़ी लकड़ी की भी चलेगी बट फॉर अ ट्रेन यू लिटरली नीड मिलियंस एंड इवन करोड़ करोड़ वर्थ ऑफ रुपीज राइट तो दैट्स द थिंग कैपिटल इन्वेस्ट करना पड़ेगा आपको प्रोडक्टिविटी बढ़ाने के लिए सो Capital investment it was booming in US in post 95 period. Okay, okay. So let's jot it down. I hope that you understood this uh, equation over here. Very straightforward. Now coming to the discussion properly of US. What's happening in US post 1995? Capital investment, capital kharcha. What is capital investment? Basically, money that you put into buying new machines, new equipment, uh, uh, new factories. न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ मेकिंग समथिंग ये सारी बातें कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट में आता है ठीक है वेन यू पुट मनी टू गेट ऑल दीज थिंग ओके तो कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट ठीक है दिस इज शूटिंग अप दिस इज गोइंग अप आप 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 बो ओके कूल वॉट नेक्स्ट फर्दर मोर दैट पार्ट ऑफ कैपिटल इन्वेस्टेड इन आई टी इंक्लूडिंग कंप्यूटर सॉफ्टवेयर ब्ला 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 मोर देन फिफ्टी टाइम्स ऑफ वॉट इट एट इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फाइव ओके वॉट इज द मोस्ट रिमार्केबल थिंग इन दिस बूम ऑफ कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट दैट इज हैपनिंग जो पैसा आईटी में लगा है इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी यू हैव कंप्यूटर्स, यू हैव सॉफ्टवेयर्स, यू हैव इंटरनेट आल्सो मे बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस मिक्सचर सो मनी इन आईटी, इन्वेस्टेड इन आईटी, ओके मनी इन्वेस्टेड इन आईटी, ऑलमोस्ट और इवन ग्रेटर देन 50 टाइम इन इन 95, फाइव फिफ्टी टाइम दैन इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी एज यू कैन सी एक पर्टिकुलर टेक्नोलॉजी है कंप्यूटर्स वाली टेक्नोलॉजी में इन अ स्पैन ऑफ ट्वेंटी इयर्स द अमाउंट ऑफ मनी डेट इज बिंग पोट इन लिटरली फिफ्टी टाइम्स हैज गॉन अप एंड वी नो द पावर ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स राइट वी नो द पावर ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर इंटरनेट एवरीथिंग सो वन पर्सन सेटिंग विद अ कंप्यूटर इन हिज हैंड एंड विद इंटरनेट कनेक्शन कैन टर्न आउट मैसेव अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क इन अ वेरी शॉर्ट स्पैन ऑफ टाइम राइट सो वॉट डज अ ऑथर से फ्रॉम दिस फ्रॉम दिस इट इज वेरी सेफ टू मेक अ कंक्लूजन दैट दिस लास्ट सेट कि देखो यार इतना पैसा डाला है ना जब सॉफ्टवेयर के अंदर कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट जब इतना डाला है इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी में तो इकोनॉमी में इंपैक्ट भी उतना आपको दिखना चाहिए द अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क दैट ईच पर्सन इज डूइंग और द अमाउंट ऑफ कंट्रीब्यूशन दैट वन सिंगल पर्सन कैन मेक टू द इकोनॉमी दैट शुड गो अप ड्रास्टिकली राइट वी आर वेरी सेफ टू अज्यूम दिस श्योर ओके लेट्स मूव अहेड नेक्स्ट फॉर द पास्ट फाइव इयर्स द बिग यूज फॉर द यूएस इकोनॉमी नोटिसबल ग्रोथ प्रोडक्टिविटी स्कोर Which many have attributed to new IT technology. ठीक है. So this this carries forward the sentiment of second paragraph. कि ठीक है IT में इतना सारा पैसा डाला है तो a lot of people say कि जो productivity में boom मिला है आपको uh, each person's contribution to the economy that is because so much money has been put into IT. Fair enough. Okay. 
Now, rate of growth in uh, US productivity had not been so high. Okay. Now, यहाँ पर काफी सारे numbers and time spans given. Now, you might end up becoming a bit confused here. So, let us, let us, uh, let me help you plot it down very carefully. So, I hope that you have paraphrased this uh, uh, in your notes as you are watching the video. Let's go ahead and try to paraphrase what is given in paragraph number three. ठीक है? Uh, please keep in mind that when you have passages like this, जिसमें इतना सारा ढेर सारा data has been offloaded before you as a reader, so it is always a decent idea to paraphrase things. Or if you are good enough to jot it, uh, sorry, to to you know hold it all mentally, remember all these stuff. Nothing can be better. Literally nothing can be better. Moving ahead. What is the author saying over here is uh, World War Two से लेकर 1960s. When did World War Two end? 1945. So 1960s ka end. Let us let us say 1969 maybe. Okay. What was happening? Productivity was increasing all these years. मतलब per person contribution to the economy was going up every year. Okay. If I am an individual in USA in this time span, एक साल my contribution is hundred dollar. Next year my contribution would be hundred and five. उसके अगले साल it will be hundred and fifteen. So the amount of contribution each year is growing up drastically. ठीक है For this long span of time, how much this is? Almost 25 years or something. Okay, cool. What next? What next? But, फिर एक अलग ही slowdown आ गया. From 1970s, 70, 71, 72 से, what happened? बहुत ही mediocre type situation आपको मिल रहा है mid 90s तक. मतलब 1995 almost यहाँ तक. What's happening? Very poor show in productivity. मतलब पर पर्सन कंट्रीब्यूशन जो है इकोनॉमी को वो करीब करीब स्टेबल ही था ठीक है प्लीज कीप इन माइंड ऑथर इज नॉट सेइंग कि लोग ये 25 साल में 70 टू 95 में पीपल वर नॉट स्लीपिंग दे वर कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टू द इकोनॉमी बट जो कंट्रीब्यूशन बढ़ना चाहिए ना ग्रोथ इन प्रोडक्टिविटी राइट दैट वॉज एट था अब इसके रीजन हो सकते हैं ढेर सारे तो ऑथर इज नॉट गॉन इन टू द रीजन इज सिंपली पेंटिंग बिफोर एस अ क्रोनोलॉजी ऑफ इवेंट अमेजिंग ग्रोथ इन पर पर्सन प्रोडक्टिविटी हियर But then a lot of stagnancy, a lot of bad scene in this 25 years. So, एक 25 साल यहाँ पे बढ़िया, 25 साल खराब. And then suddenly, 1995 onwards, we have a massive boom again happening. But things change drastically. 1995 onwards, productivity again shot through the roof. Okay. All right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. That is what is painted before us in the third paragraph. And the time period that is given to us is. 95 to 99. Real GDP grew at an average rate, and the rate of growth in productivity returned to pre-70. मतलब ये zone में आ गया वापस. So basically, 95 to 99, you have a situation which resembles a lot of this scenario. Right? Everybody's productivity is going up, 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 and up for these four hours, four years, four years. Okay. So this is the paraphrasing that you can take away from the third part. Okay. So till the third paragraph, the focus, as you can see, is exclusively U.S. economy. ठीक है दैट प्रोडक्टिविटी क्या होती है पर पर्सन जो कंट्रीब्यूशन होता है इकोनॉमी को और वो बढ़ते चले जाना चाहिए एवरी ईयर एंड डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स इन्फ्लुएंस इट कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट जो पैसा लगाया जाता है नए फैक्ट्रीज में नए टेक्नोलॉजी में दैट अफेक्ट्स इंडिविजुअल प्रोडक्टिविटी राइट एंड इन यूएसए वॉट हैपन इज द क्रोनोलॉजी ऑफ इवेंट दिस वे सिचुएशन वॉज है सो यू कैन सी पच्चीस साल सिचुएशन इज वेरी गुड नेक्स्ट पच्चीस साल नॉट सो गुड देन सडनली फोर इयर्स का ये पर्टिकुलर टाइम स्पेन में थिंग्स आर बैक टू गुड ठीक है नाउ ऑथर जूम्स आउट फ्रॉम हिस्स फोकस एंड यूएस को छोड़कर वो सारी दुनिया की बात करता है राधर सारी दुनिया छोड़ के डेवलप कंट्रीज आर ओके ही से इसके अब देखो टेक्नोलॉजी का एक चीज तो होती है डेट यू कैन नॉट कीप इट लॉक्ट इन यूर है ना इफ यू एस इज प्रोग्रेसिंग ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एडवांसमेंट इन्वेस्टमेंट इन टेक्नोलॉजी Uh, especially something as global as computers, IT, something like this. So, other developed countries need to develop. Na, he is pinpointing it out in the start of both para. Okay, to be shared by other developed countries. He will also reflect on it. But not the case. Okay, this was not the case. This is not mark differences exist. What's happened is when US made a solid comeback in this uh, late 90s. So, a very good comeback. Mara. In this time period, it was a laggard. एकदम गंदी कंडीशन थी उनकी. In the time period of 81 to 95, 15 years का टाइम फ्रेम, 
यूएस वॉज एट द बॉटम इट वॉज एट द बॉटम ऑफ प्रोडक्टिविटी ग्रोथ मतलब आप दुनिया के सारे डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज लो और ये एक पंद्रह साल का एटी वन टू नाइनटी फाइव विच इज अबसेट ऑफ दिस पार्ट तो यूएस का रैंकिंग इज घटिया ओके सो दिस इज री इन्फोर्सिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन गिवन इन दर्ड पैराग्राफ दैट दिस ब्लू वाला टाइप का रेट लिटरली ब्लू ही था एज इन नॉट नॉट मच इज है बट वेन यूएस मेड अ कम बैक इन दिस फोर ईयर सो इट शॉर्ट अप ड्रामेटिकली सारे डेवलप कंट्रीज का आप लिस्ट बनाओ With respect to productivity growth per person contributing to the economy year on year, so US का rank three आ गया सबसे last से सीधा jump मारा है rank three पे. Only two countries are ahead of it, Ireland, Australia. ठीक है? Pretty important sentence. We will come to it uh, when we handle the questions. But what is meant by these two sentences over here is that US was a laggard for 15 years. Then ऐसा लगा कि रातों रात यार things have changed. it has made a very solid comeback and the comeback is such that it has shot up to rank 3 good what is the position in other countries nahi achhi nahi it's not good what's happened other developed countries france italy japan blah 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 so productivity growth slowed quite sharply okay bad scenario bad scenario so what does this paint before us is ye jo immense jump mila us ko in this 4 years sort of isolated growth it's not visible in the entire globe developing countries ko to author bhul hi chuka hai developed countries hi grow nahi kar pa rahi hai in this time frame so us is a sort of outlier here and what's the reason for it other is making a speculation that it is because of the amazingly high amount of money which has been put into it computer software internet blah 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 theek hai theek hai now i hope that you understood the discussion so far late 90s us made massive progress as far as productivity is concerned other developed countries are not so good situation is bad what happened question now arises kya question and the author is not asking a rhetoric question it's a genuine question which he goes on to answer he is reinforcing his speculation which he had made at the start over here in second paragraph that when you take into account the productivity of people in different countries ye sare developed countries ka apne list banaya Every country, what you are doing? Let me clear this part on the screen. I hope that you have once again paraphrased, written this down. Uh, I'll refer to this part when we solve the questions. Okay, so make sure that you have jotted this down in your notes if you are following the explanation closely. What's happening in the last paragraph? Author is saying that you take every country out of the list and draw a graph. And let's plot a graph. Okay, what graph exactly? Rate of growth in productivity, basically rate of productivity growth. Okay. and against what spending devoted to information technology aur dusra ek aur graph banayenge number of internet servers sorry sorry my writing is not coming out good today i don't know why Let's call it RPG, okay? Plot के लिए फिर से यहाँ पे नहीं लिखूँगा मैं RP, rate of productivity growth. और यहाँ पे हम लिखेंगे internet server. so what's happening according to the author is that you can see a positive correlation happening over here matlab ek badhta hai to dusra bhi sath hi sath badhte hue dikh raha hai where is it this is it is written over here it reveals a positive correlation theek hai that if a country is investing more money in it okay And if a country is investing more money in internet servers, मतलब ये भी IT का ही part आ जाता है, तो आपको दिखेगा कि वहाँ पर productivity growth is going up. And this holds very strongly, very prominently across the entire data set. ऐसा नहीं है कि randomly बन गया ये graph. No, you check it, cross check it, बार 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 for different cases, for different countries. You apply statistics के concepts to it, but the graph stays valid. ठीक है? So what does this point us towards? It points us that Point says that the data appears to reinforce the view. 
वॉट एग्जैक्टली कि जो न्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज आई है आई कंप्यूटर इंटरनेट उनकी वजह से राधर उसमें जो पैसा लगाया है यूएस ने इन द रिसेंट इयर्स दैट इज पेइंग ऑफ द डिविडेंड एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट प्रोडक्टिविटी इज गॉन अप तो लेट 90s में आपको जो सडन रिवर्सल दिखा सिचुएशन का दैट प्रोडक्टिविटी इज गॉन अप मैसिवली ऑथर सेस डेटा सपोर्ट्स व्हाट कि आपने जो ये ढेर सारा पैसा लगाया ना टेक्नोलॉजीज में इट इज पेइंग ऑफ गुड एक्सीलेंट दैट इज दैट इज गुड न्यूज़ राइट सो ऑल इन ऑल रैपिंग अप द डिस्कशन इन द पैसेज focus remains largely us and then later on comparison with the developed world that in late 90s productivity per person contribution to the economy it was going up 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 1945 to 1970 ya fir 1969 tak ke it was again very very good beech mein 70 to 95 it was not good it was bad and 95 onward once again boom so what you can say is in a way it proper aisa kar 1975, sorry, uh, 1945 to 1970 तक amazing well, then बीच में खराब हालत not cool, then once again doing good, ठीक है? तो इस तरीके का graph you can plot, okay? That's about it. And according to the author, author is pretty sure, pretty sure, okay? Even though is not taking 100% एकदम chest thumping guarantee, but by taking the help of mentioning regression, mentioning statistics, all this stuff, he is pretty confident that productivity growth is increasing when you dedicate money to internet internet servers when you dedicate money in uh, it investments mein jab aap karte ho okay that's theek hai so with this knowledge let's go ahead. and yes what did the author say author is saying ki dusre developed countries mein ye growth spurt nahi dikha okay it seems that only us put in so much money in in uh, it okay and hence it reached the rewards other countries possibly did not put money there and hence did not develop theek hai so with that in mind let's go to the questions now very easy question very straight forward if you understood this explanation please hit the like share and subscribe button asap all right and now let's go take a look at the questions according to passage a resurgence in productivity occurred in productivity mein badhav बढ़ाव कब आता है बढ़ती कब है जब किसी टाइम पर डाउन होगी ऑब्वियसली वी नो द स्टोरी ओनली ऑफ यूएस बाकी सारी कंट्रीज में व्हेन इट वाज लो देन इट मेड अ कमबैक एंड वेंट अप इसका हमें कोई आईडिया नो आईडिया एट ऑल सो सो आंसर ऑब्वियसली इज गोइंग टू बी स्टेटमेंट 1 ओनली आंसर ऑप्शन सिंपली बिकॉज़ वी डोंट नो व्हाट हैपेंड इन अदर कंट्री नाउ यू माइट बी टेंप्टेड टू से कि नहीं ना आयरलैंड दिया है अदर कंट्रीज के बारे में भी दिया है हाउ कैन यू से दैट वी डोंट नो The key word here is resurgence. Okay. बढ़ाओ, come back basically. तो come back कब होता है? जब setback बैठता है. नीचे था, खराब था. अब hero के entry वापस आ चुकी है. Hero का come back हो चुका है. Something like that. Okay. तो ये part तो हमें सिर्फ US के बारे में मालूम है ना? That 1972 to 95 situation was man bad there. It made a come back after 95. What about other countries like Ireland and Australia? जो US के भी आगे थे productivity में. Now, thing is that it is possible that those guys might have been doing good, 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 good and better since a lot of years. हमें short shot नहीं पता whether Ireland and Australia they also struggled similarly like US or was their journey completely different. So that is why option A statement first only holds. बाकी कुछ भी नहीं. Okay. So I hope that you understood the explanation here. Let's go to the next question. Uh, my video might be hiding some important content over here, so I'll stop it. All right, coming to the question, second question. If the passage were to continue, the next topic the author would discuss would most probably be okay. Thoda sa bhi aap aapko dimag lagat. Ki passage ko agar aage baatchit ki jaye, so what would the author discuss? So in this case, you need to take into account the last paragraph, obviously, because it should be connected to it. And you have to also take into account the context of the discussion. What did the author do? We have heard a long story that he has heard, but where is the story heading towards? When he starts the story, when he lays before us the context, so combining what is given in the first paragraph with the last paragraph, so combining what is given in the first paragraph with the last paragraph, we can infer that he starts off by saying, look, in the late 90s, a boom happened. But suddenly, boom, hard. Sab phat gaya, it all came crashing down. But 
the last paragraph ends on a high note only that in late 90s this amazing growth amazing productivity has happened because of investments in it so this begs the question of this hint that the author had given to us na yaar tumne to shuruaat mein bola tha hero mar jata hai story mein abhi to aap yahan pe bata rahe ho ki bhai bahubali to ekdam raja banne ke kagar pe ekdam jeet gaya hai wo to right and then the movie ends on a cliffhanger what that katappa kills bahubali right तो वो वाला पार्ट दिखाना पड़ेगा ना आप सेकेंड पार्ट आगे क्या होगा कटप्पा ने बाहुबली को क्यों मारा इकोनॉमी जीतते जीतते क्यों चकनाचूर हो गई क्यों मिट्टी में मिल गई आपने तो मूवी एंड किए सिर्फ इसके ऊपर डट डूट द इकोनॉमी इज विनिंग बाहुबली को तो अब राजा बनाएंगे नहीं क्यों मरा क्यों कटप्पा ने मारा उसको कंटिन्यू वो रहेगा ना तो डैट इज वाई आंसर हियर बिकम्स आंसर आंसर ऑप्शन बी की वॉट फैक्टर्स प्रिवेंटेड द प्रोडक्टिविटी ग्रोथ फ्रॉम कंटिन्यूंग आपने यहाँ पे पैसेज के ऑथर को हम कह सकते हैं बट बॉस आपने तो यहाँ तक के हमें बता दिया डेट बिकॉज ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इन आई टी इन इन्वेस्टमेंट इन इंटरनेट प्रोडक्टिविटी हैज शॉर्ट अप फ्रॉम नाइनटी फाइव टू नाइन फॉर दोन फाइव इयर्स बट वॉट है एक्जैक्टलीट बॉटम फेल आउट बूम सब फट गया अचानक से क्या हो गया बॉस सब कुछ तो अच्छा चल रहा था तो दैट वुड बी द मिस्ट्री ऑफ द सिचुएशन एंड हेन्स आंसर ऑप्शन बी बिकम दैटिकेट ठीक है other options you should be able to reject on your own uh, assuming that you have understood the explanation properly still if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section ask a doubt in the comment section which or uh, which question with the time stamp ki aapko kaun se question mein exactly kis option mein doubt hai and i'll help you out through replies okay so now let's move to the last question in paragraph 2 the author is primarily concerned with ठीक है कीप इन माइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज नॉट आस्किंग अस पूरे पैसेज में ऑथर क्या कर क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग ओनली इन द सेकंड पैराग्राफ व्हाट्स हैपन सो द सेकंड पैरा एक्चुअली हैज टू स्प्लिट पार्ट्स टू इन द सेंस ये सेफ्टी रेगुलेशंस तक टिल दिस पार्ट ऑथर इज डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अबाउट द फार्मूला or the factors which influence growth of productivity that is the first half of this paper and what is the second half keeping in mind keeping in context the american economy or american situation what happened there so second half is dedicated to capital investment in us it was going up and hence productivity bhi shoot hona chahiye so there are two halves to the narrative and this is where options a b c they fail what's happening in option a paragraph is concerned with defining productivity identifying type of factors that affects its growth ye sach hai this is true but 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 only for the first half but hame to kya pucha hai pure paragraph ka kya maksad hai boss second half mein the author has taken the discussion in a particular direction of impact of capital investment right तो ये पार्ट तो ऑप्शन है भूल ही गया ये सिर्फ फर्स्ट हाफ को ही केटर कर रहा है सेम गलती इज देयर बाय ऑप्शन बी एंड सी जस्ट डिफरेंट पार्ट्स को लेकर दैट दे आर डिस्कसिंग ओनली द सेकंड हाफ बट फॉरगेट अबाउट द फर्स्ट हाफ कम ठीक है सो विद दैट इन माइंड ऑप्शंस ए बी सी इवन दो दे आर ट्रू इवन दो दे आर ट्रू दे आर नॉट कंप्लीटली राइट एज फार एज द स्कोप ऑफ पैरा 2 इज कंसर्न सेकंड पैराग्राफ इज रियली वेल रिटन काफी सारी बातें की गई है सेकंड पैराग्राफ So in such a case, option D, which might look like a bit vague at the start, it is actually good. It is actually good. What does option D say? Introducing an explanation that will then be tested by further investigation. कि एक hint दी है author ने, एक thought process शुरू किया है second paragraph में, and then he goes on to investigate it properly. कि यार does this idea hold or not? This is bang on point. How? He starts hinting at influence of capital investment. कि अब पैसा लगाओ new technologies में new internet systems में new new software new IT stuff and that should push up your employee productivity. And because of that you will see immense immense growth in productivity and everything good for the economy. Is it tested later on as option D say that will then be tested by further investigation? Yes, it does. Rather in the last paragraph, focus pura usi ke upper hai. The author is running regression analysis, not just on US but on all the developed countries versus two really solid parameters. 
spending on IT as well as spending on internet servers and he finds really solid valid data valid inference from that distance. So option D amazing amazingly well made and hence it becomes the answer. Okay. And option E is very vague, very absurd, criticize explanation. No criticism is happening anywhere. Okay. The author is not at all doing any kind of criticism anywhere in the past. Okay. So I hope that you understood the explanation. If you have watched till now, thanks a lot. Please consider hitting the like, share and subscribe button. Before you go, I would like to bring your attention to the fact that I conduct online classes for exams like CAT, NMAT, SNAP, and ZAT, especially the VRC section, I teach it myself. You can also visit my website, it is given in the description box www.pelthecat.co.in. Or you can get in touch with me on this contact number of mine or on this mail ID, and I'll let you know about the latest batch details that I'll be starting. Okay, so chalo then. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.